Okay, so we're still starting to shape our palm now that we have quite a significant amount of detail uh, starting to be generated here. So you can sort of start to round things out a little bit, uh, smooth things out, you know. It's the beginning of the palm. Um, I need to put one more line of detail in here. Which I'll do like so. And back into F9 mode and just continue to shape away. Now, this could take a little while, we don't need to like play too hard into it early on because things will change over time as you progress. But just to get the general shape, sort of a good idea, especially if you're looking at the model from different angles, etc. etc. It's uh, something you worthwhile doing. So I'm just going to go out of x-ray mode and just have a look at how it is starting to turn out. And then it's starting to look quite nice. Now I might just complete the knuckle section and also the underneath of it as well. And now I'll just do with some more cuts. So just using the cut tool. Okay, I'm going to crank up the snap setting here. Okay. It's a bit more snappy. Yeah, it's a bit easier. Maybe I do like this tool. I'll get back to you on that one though. So I'm just sort of cutting in an extra line of topology, sort of like a ring loop. So, back into vertex mode, F9, and then I'm just going to casually sort of shape it out a bit, like so. That should be right. Now, at this stage, this is looking quite nice. I'm going to actually delete some polygons here on this uh, F11, go on and delete these two polygons here. Um, because then it will reveal how I still got polygons left over from the finger creation process. Obviously this finger there is none because that was part of the original mesh. So I just shift selecting those polygons I don't want. I'm going to delete them. It's part of the process. Okay. I'm actually going to select all the fingers as well as the uh, palm itself because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at basically what they call the webbing of the hand. So if you look at your hand between your fingers you have this kind of webbing. In essence essentially not so much. What you want to do is just to manipulate all these vertices Make sure you have the ones you want selected and the ones you don't want not selected. That looks good. And I'm going to move that back. There's this section uh, between the fingers here. Or well, basically the interconnect or the webbing, perhaps is the best word for it. I'm not really sure what to call it. If you look at your own hand, it does sort of um, slope away towards the base of your uh, your palm there. So basically, what I'm trying to do here is just replicate that effect without going too crazy. Okay, so that looks alright. Let's get out and have a look at it from this position. So yeah, it's starting to come along quite nicely. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag out in vertex mode the rest of this palm here. And I'm just going to shrink it down with the scale tool and drag it out in scale. Okay, maybe just enlarge it a bit, like so. Alright, so we're starting to get there now. 
Um, now I want to create the thumb. Best way to do it is just grab one of the fingers you already have and duplicate it. Or control D. And that's going to be our thumb. Now thumbs are typically fatter, shorter. Okay. Now have quite a stumpy front area. So we sort of need to move around some of our vertexes a little bit and then pull this one out. So using your own reference thumb, which is your body, you should better figure this one out. So from the side view, okay, it's kind of rounded like so. And what I'm also going to do is start to extend out this part of the thumb to start to replicate this significant feature of the thumb which is where it connects to the palm. So I'm going to repurpose some of the detail on this Okay, where it was a knuckle. I'm going to move this detail uh, up here into the middle so I can reuse it in shaping my hand and I might even just grab this piece here okay it's a good idea to just work with what you have like there's no point cutting in any more detail uh, because there's plenty here to work with. Uh, it's really not necessary to go mad on polygon counts. Because um, often you're not going to get the result you want, especially when you're starting out with your modeling. So it's just not going to happen for you. So just work with what you've got, and it's a good way of um, keeping things the same wherever possible. So you make sure you always rotate around your model check it from different angles to make sure everything's still nice and straight relatively checking for any issues that might have been generated in the process okay so this is going to sort of form uh, how my thumb is going to be put together now it's probably not fat enough for my liking I'm just going to scale like that a little bit. Uh, it generally looks okay. You need to play around with this for quite extended periods of time to get the result you want anyway. So uh, depending on how you want to play, how much time you want to spend, but this is pretty much good enough for this tutorial. So I got a thumb. It should be nice. So now I'm going to rotate it. Now thumb doesn't bend up in like an, uh, how do you say, its hinges or the joints uh, sort of don't go in this 90 degree uh, axis in the, basically in the uh, X axis it's rotated like 45 degrees off and will rotate in this axis which is 45 degree off the X it's kind of interesting the thumb actually I find the thumb quite fascinating so again using your own thumb as a reference what we need to do now is try position it uh, correctly uh, for the purpose of this example. So I'm going to swing it right out. And I'm going to bring it right back to about here. Now the thumb, the tip of the thumb uh, as such should be in line with the middle right here. Okay. Uh, it's about its correct length and the start of the thumb, or this joint here, will basically be exactly where your wrist is. So this is kind of your basic alignment where you would like to pit it. So this is starting to look alright. So what I need to do now is just sort of start tweaking everything around to how I would like it 